China just drilled an 11,000 meter hole straight into the earth in the middle of a desert. It's now the deepest well in Asia and the second deepest on the planet. And down there, scientists pulled up rocks that are over 500 million years old. That's how deep it is. But how did they even dig that far and why? This is the wild story of how China became one of the only two countries to achieve such an extraordinary feat. This is the inside of your planet Earth. The outermost layer is called the crust, where we all live. We then have the mantle and finally the core. As we go deeper and deeper into the Earth, the temperature and pressure gradually start rising. Right down at the core, we have a temperature above 5,000 degrees Celsius and pressure equivalent to 3.6 million atmospheres. This is enough to make iron melt. The mantle, although significantly cooler, still has a temperature ranging between thousands of degrees Celsius. For obvious reasons, no one has been able to drill beyond the Earth's crust and tap into the mantle. In 2023, China set out to do the impossible. They placed a bet on how deep they could drill and what they could possibly find below. So why did China invest billions in digging a hole right in the middle of the desert? The answer is twofold. On one hand, this is a scientific exploration to understand Earth's evolution and geology. On the other hand, this is China's gateway to tap into vast reserves of oil and natural gas. That's like killing two birds with one stone. On 30th May 2023, work began on drilling one of the longest wells on the planet. And this goes without saying, it wasn't easy. Digging thousands of meters below the surface can crush pipes, warp drill bits, and collapse boreholes without extreme reinforcement. Deeper layers are older and more fractured. These ancient rocks can shift, shear, or collapse under the stress of drilling. Keeping the well stable over that length is a massive engineering feat, and the deeper you go, the more unstable it gets. So unfortunately, the concept is a hundred times more complex than a simple drill working its way on a wall. Extraordinary challenges like these call for extraordinary equipment. To deliver the project, China National Petroleum Corporation designed a unique setup known as the Shen to Take One. This is the world's first automated drilling rig capable of reaching depths of up to 12,000 meters. It took 270 days to drill 10,000 meters from the surface. Beyond this depth, every meter presented a unique challenge. At this level, temperatures exceed 210 degrees Celsius which is hot enough to vaporize cooking oil. Pressure surpasses 145 megapascals, greater than the crushing forces found at the deepest point of the Mariana Trench. If reaching space is a formidable challenge, penetrating the Earth's depths is no less daunting. This would explain why the last 910 meters took 300 days to drill. This was more than the time spent on drilling the first 10,000 meters coupled with the fact that they did all of this in an actual desert. That's just insane. In many cases, scientists prefer drilling a borehole in the ocean rather than on dry land. You see, the Earth's crust is thinner under the ocean. It's just five to 10 kilometers thick compared to the usual 30 kilometers over land. The water also helps cool down the drill site, which is another plus. So why did the Chinese scientists choose this as their mission site? This is the Tarim Basin. It's located in the heart of the Taklimakan Desert inside Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. This land is claimed by Uyghur groups, which regard it as their homeland. China, on the other hand, heavily opposes this and asserts its sovereignty over Xinjiang. Tarim Basin is also famous for another reason. In the 20th century, European explorers discovered hundreds of mummies on site. Dating almost 4,000 years back, these corpses are remarkably well-preserved even down to their eyelashes. However, China's interest in the region is for a completely different reason. Tarim Basin is the nation's largest oil and gas reservoir. It has 83% of its oil resources and 64% of the natural gas. All this is buried 6,000 meters below the land. Currently, China has to import more than half of its fuel from the Middle East. What's concerning is that in the coming years, the Middle East will lose its dominance in the fossil fuel industry. Depleting oil reserves and the global transition to clean energy are two main factors. Even Gulf nations like Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Qatar are building some of the world's largest renewable power plants as they wean themselves off fossil fuels. In the run-up to the 2022 FIFA World Cup, 
Qatar built a solar plant designed to meet 10% of the country's peak energy needs. In a climate like this, China is looking for energy solutions within its own territory rather than relying on a third party. And what could be a better site than the tried and tested Terran Basin? More than 300 wells deeper than 8,000 meters have already been drilled in the Tarim Basin. This accounts for 80% of the nation's total deep wells. Moreover, the desert's remote setting makes it an ideal place to set up complex infrastructure. They also had to make on-site residential arrangements for all the crew stationed in the basin. Battling the cruel sun and sandstorms, the crew did a fantastic job. Apart from being the second deepest vertical well, Shendatake 1 has other accolades too. The operation set five records, including the deepest tailpipe cementing, deepest cable imaging logging, fastest drilling beyond 10,000 meters on land, and deepest core sampling in Asia. At this point, the only relevant question is, did they discover oil? Well, yes, between 10,800 meters and 10,900 meters, oil and gas producing rock formations were discovered. This officially confirms the presence of fossil fuels at this depth in the Tarim Basin. What is truly remarkable is that the well penetrated through 12 geological formations, ultimately reaching rock layers that date back over 540 million years. Scientists have created a library for every rock obtained for every meter. This has led to the creation of Asia's first 10,000 meter geological profile. To be fair, it's not the first time humans have drilled out of curiosity. Many countries have tried to get a sample of the Earth's mantle by boring a huge hole in the ground. In 1958, Americans launched Project Mahole. The plan was to retrieve a sample from Earth's mantle by drilling to the bottom of the ocean. As mentioned before, the Earth's crust is thinner below the ocean floor. With funds from the National Science Foundation, they drilled 183 meters into the seabed. During the late 1950s, deep sea drilling was a relatively new concept. No one had yet invented essential technologies such as dynamic positioning, which allows a drill ship to stay in its position over the well. Instead, the engineers had to improvise. They installed a system of propellers along the sides of their drill ship to keep it steady over the hole. Because of a lack of equipment and a clear strategy, the cost quickly spiraled out of control. The budget had ballooned from $4 million to $70 million within a few years, a fact that gained quite a bit of public attention. Project Mahol became politically indefensible. By 1966, the U.S. House of Representatives cut the funding for an impossible dream. Even though it failed, the project proved that deep-sea drilling was indeed possible. This was especially useful later on for deep-sea oil drilling. The samples obtained from the site were the deepest marine cores ever collected at the time. These samples played a crucial role in our understanding of the structure and composition of the upper oceanic crust. In 1970, the Soviets launched their attempt. The plan was to drill as deep as they could, surpassing at least 15,000 meters. Soviet scientists wanted to learn more about the Earth's crust to understand how it has formed and how evolved. They chose a site in Murmansk, Russia, just outside the Norwegian border near the Barents Sea. Known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole, its drilling began on May 24, 1970. By 1979, the project had broken all world records for man-made holes when it surpassed 9,000 meters. A decade later, the crew had reached a depth of 12,260 meters. It is the deepest point ever reached by a man-made well, but this was pretty much the end point. Geologists expected the temperature to be 100 degrees Celsius. It turned out to be 180 in reality. This was almost double of what they had expected. At this temperature, the rock behaved more like a plastic than a rock. As a result, drill bits broke and the team had to change the direction of the drilling several times. The resulting drill pattern resembled a Christmas tree rather than vertical well. The Soviet Union tried until 1992 when it realized that its efforts were in vain. Moreover, the fall of the USS created financial constraints and there were no funds to carry the project on. The drill site was officially shut down and the hole sealed in 2005. Despite its failure, the Kola Superdeep borehole remains the deepest one on Earth. It's sort of strange to think that behind this welded lid lies the limit to which humanity has reached. While its length is impressive, the Kola borehole hasn't even scratched the surface. 
In total, cola only penetrates about a third of Earth's crust and 0.2% of the entire distance to the center of Earth. It couldn't even reach the mantle. But not everything was in vain. Scientists discovered a lot from the cola super deep borehole. For starters, they realized they needed to update the temperature map for the Earth's interior since they encountered temperatures much higher than expected. Even more exciting was the discovery of biological activity in the rocks. At seven kilometers deep, researchers found dozens of fossils from single-celled marine organisms dating back two billion years. They also discovered water at depths they didn't expect. This proves that the Earth's crust isn't as dense as originally thought. Since then, humans have dug super deep holes, but most of them weren't driven by pure scientific curiosity. Some were built for energy. One of the most ambitious examples is buried beneath the waters of the Persian Gulf, the Al Shaheen oil field borehole. In 2008, Maersk Oil set a world record here by drilling a well with a length of 12,289 meters. This is longer than even the Kola Super Deep. Although its length is bigger than its Russian counterpart, the Shaheen borehole isn't exactly vertical. That's why the Kola Super Deep borehole retains the title of the deepest well on Earth. The real question is, can we go any deeper? The answer is both yes and no. For this, we must understand the structure of the rotary drill. On the drill rig, a tool called a drill bit at attached to a hollow steel pipe called the drill string. The string is rotated by a strong motor that pushes it into the ground, making a cylindrical borehole. With every kilometer we drill into Earth's crust, the pressure increases equal to the weight of a pony standing on an area the size of a fingernail. The temperature increases by 30 degrees Celsius. At these extreme temperatures and pressures, rocks and materials within the Earth behave differently and can even melt. It will take some pretty advanced equipment to reach the mantle, which is 40 kilometers below. So yeah, we have barely scratched the surface. How many years do you think it will take us before we reach that stage? Comment down below. Also, if you want to appreciate our existing engineering marvels, take a look at this next video.